sure. Oh. Like I hope it's not me. Cool. I'm glad you came to talk to me. I have your amulet. I found the amulet that Solus told us about. Would you like to try it on? Yes, but not here. I like it here. We need some place that can go away if it becomes sharp. What do I do with it? You found one of the amulets. Excellent. May I? It is simple enough. You put it on, I charge it with magic, and you should be protected. Um... You, you sure it'll work? We know it's not just going to work, right? It never just works. Have faith, Inquisitor. <laughs> Kid. Stopping blood mages from binding me like the demons at Adamant. But it didn't work. Something is interfering with the enchantment. Something like Cole not being a demon? Um, I mean, I don't... I'm not certain exactly what Cole is. Regardless of Cole's special circumstances, he remains a spirit. Yes. A spirit who is strangely like a person. I don't matter. Just lock away the parts of me that someone else could knot together to make me follow. Focus on the amulet. Tell me what you feel. Warm, soft blanket covering. But it catches tears. I'm the wrong shape. There's uh, something... There. That way. So, I guess we'll go look. We'll find whatever is preventing the amulet from working and we'll make it right. All right, kid. Get Cullen and work with him on the map to figure out where you're sensing something wrong. Will you come with me? All of you? Sure. Aww. All right, I get it. You like spirits. <laughs> but he came into this world to be a person. Let him be one. Um, I don't necessarily agree. Cole is a demon, or a spirit. He has magical abilities and magical vulnerabilities. We cannot ignore that. Fair enough. But that ritual of theirs only works on demons, right? This is not some fanciful story, child of the stone. We cannot change our nature by wishing. You don't think? Hmm. However we deal with the problem, our next step is to track down whatever is interfering with the enchantment. Oh, okay. Yeah, this should get me through the month. But give me a moment. Greetings. Can I help you? You. Oh! You killed me! What? I don't... I don't even know you. You forgot! You locked me in the dungeon in the Spire, and you forgot, and I died in the dark! The, the Spire? Cole, stop! Just take it easy, kid. He killed me! He killed me! That's why it doesn't work! He killed me, and I have to kill him back! Cole. Before anyone gets killed, I need to know what's going on. <laughs> Cole, this man cannot have killed you. You are a spirit. You have not even possessed a body. A broken body, bloody, banged on the stone cell, guts gripping in the dark, dank. A captured apostate. They threw him into the dungeon in the spire at Valroyo. 
They forgot about him. He starved to death. I came through to help. And I couldn't. So I became him. Cole. If Cole was an apostate, that'd make the guy we just saw a Templar. Must have been buying lyrium. Let me kill him. I need to... I need to. Okay, well, obviously, he's upset. Um, thoughts? Solus? We cannot let Cole kill the man. I don't think anyone was going to suggest that, Chuckles. Cole is a spirit. The death of the real Cole wounded him, perverted him from his purpose. To regain that part of himself, he must forgive. Come on. You don't just forgive someone killing you. You don't. A spirit can. And Varric? Varric. The kid's angry. He needs to work through it. A spirit does not work through emotions. It embodies them. But he isn't a spirit, is he? He made himself human, and humans change. They, they get hurt, and they heal. He needs to work it out like a person. You would alter the essence of what he is. He did that to himself when he left the Fade. I'm just helping him survive it. Mm. Before I decide anything, I need a clearer picture of what happened. It seems the real Cole was an apostate. Captured and taken to the Circle by Templars. Who aren't known for their gentle nature. As the young man starved to death in a dungeon, his pain caught the attention of a spirit. Likely one of compassion. Compassion? An uncommon spirit, certainly. And all too fragile when its efforts to help prove to be in vain. Okay, so we get to decide if Cole is more of a spirit, or if he becomes more human. Both options are valid. Cole approves of your decision either way, and he's happy either way. So, makes the choice that much more difficult. There's a lot of stuff with the spirit path that I really like and is really wonderful, but ultimately, there's implications to the spirit path that just bothers me. If you make him a spirit, he actually erases the memory of the Templar and makes him forget what happened and that's that's the way that he heals uh, which I'm completely just 200% against that so I don't like it for that's one of the reasons I don't like the spirit path as much uh, and this is more of a, a meta decision than a character decision Everything is kind of unclear at this point, and so I really don't know. It's easy to just be like, Solus, no spirit, so we'll go with Solus. And Varric's reasoning of Cole came here to be a person, well, Cole didn't come here to be a person. That wasn't his purpose. He just became one. He cared so much that it happened. So my, my thought process is if, as a spirit of compassion, Cole cared so much that he became human isn't helping him work through that more preserving of his essence than hitting the reset button. But I've also, I know other people see it as, I think the way Solus explained it, he's suffered a trauma because he couldn't help the real Cole. And so by making him more spirit, you're just, you're just helping him recover and again I do feel like that's a valid option like that's totally cool if, if you want to do spirit cold cool, cool, that's that's totally fine um, I just prefer the human path for a number of reasons Cole will never grow into a real person until he comes to terms with what happened not, it's not about making him a person me. that's not what this is about all right kid you want revenge? Come with me. A 
I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Sorry isn't going to help him now, is it, kid? No. Pull the trigger and put him down like a mad dog. He let him hold Bianca. Do it. No! How you doing, kid? Feel any better? No. You can't make it all just go away. I learned that the hard way. Oh, Beric. Forget. No. He needs to remember. You too. We're done here. For all we know, the amulet will now never function. Cole remains vulnerable to binding. No, he isn't. The amulet didn't work because he's too human, right? Maybe now the kid's also too human for that binding magic to work on him. I hope you're right. It still hurts. When do I stop hurting? Aww. Being with your friends can make you feel better. Come on, kid. Let's go for a walk. It'll clear your head. The left hand misses a friend with two different names. She's hurting, sad, alone, but everyone can see me now. They remember. How do I put honey in Leliana's wine without her noticing? <laughs> I can help with that. It is good that he's not entirely changed, however human he becomes. Class completed. Let's go see if he has anything to say. Your worship. No. Nope. Try again. I can talk with you. Yeah. Um, you're more human now. May I ask how things are now that you're more human? It hurts. Everything hurts. Everyone remembers me now. I can only make them miss me for a few heartbeats. But I'm real. More real, anyway. And I understand more than I did. You still read minds? You're still able to sense the feelings of others, aren't you? Yes, I still feel things. Flashes of their minds. Pain, hurt, all of it. It's not so loud anymore. I make more noise myself, so I don't hear as much unless I want to. I remember more things, though. It lets me learn. I sometimes see why something I said would bother Cullen. Maybe I'll do it less. <laughs> um... So, no forgetting. Why can't you make people forget you anymore? Because I'm real. The forgetting was for both sides. They weren't frightened by me, and I wasn't hurt by them. Making people forget was a defense against people attacking me, and having what they saw in me stick. Because I'm real, everything sticks. Whatever people think or feel about me stays. Is it harder to help people? Can you still help people if you can't make them forget? It's harder. I can't start over if I do it wrong. But seeing me changes them. They know a person wants them to hurt less. That helps. Yeah. Uh, what about your body? Are you still physically the same, or are you fully human? I was always fully human. I can do everything I could do before. Except make people forget. The way I move comes from my mind, not my body. As long as I remember some of the fade, it remains. My body is just like the real Coles. Except that he was a mage. I'm not. Why not? Why aren't you a mage? I can't know for sure, but the real Cole, his father beat him, killed his mother. His sister might have died too. 
I don't know if that was real or what the demon made me think. I think that Then was the real. The Templars threw Cole in darkness and starved him, all because he had magic. He thought that if he didn't have magic, I'm what he wanted to be. Him, but normal. So no one would hurt him. How are spirits different? What's the difference between you and a spirit now? Spirits are... They just are. Most of them sense something that interests them and stick to it. They don't remember much. It keeps them pure, but it also keeps them from learning, from growing. I wanted to help people, but I only knew enough to do it in the simplest way. Now I can see more. I also want to hit people a lot. <laughs> Varric is helping with that. I think that's a normal human reaction to people. I'll talk to you later. If you like. Okay, something just happened. He sounds new. Echoes of laughter on an empty riverbed. Not for sailing, but safer. Uh, hold on. Oh, that is a reference to Cullen. I'll talk to you later. If you like. I can talk with you. Uh, do you want to go somewhere? How would you like to get out of here? Maybe do something fun? I don't know. I've never tried. Come on. Inquisitor, you honor us with your presence. May I bring a sampling of fine cheeses for you and your guests? I don't eat. Well then, just a bottle of a fine Gislaine White to start. <laughs> Please enjoy your meal this evening, your worship. If you bring Cole as a spirit, he won't be able to see you. He'll set the table for they one. They saw me. They all see me. Next you'll be eating and drinking and everything else. What else is there? Have you used the privy yet? That should be enlightening. <laughs> I find people when their pain leaves them open. I ease the pain. I leave, they forget. That was enough for me. Now they remember, and I'm not sure... I... <sighs> Cole? I told you about Rhys, the mage who could see me, my friend. My only friend for a long time. Evangeline showed me that Templars could be kind, but even she... Is it painful? Cole, if this is troubling, we don't have to talk about it. Gentle. You watch me walk into darkness over and over, and you always worry. Thank you. But this isn't about them. It's about... When I found out I wasn't human, when I grew, I lost Reese. I lost my only friend. That's why I was scared about letting all these people see me. That's why I laughed. You made yourself laugh? You're laughing at yourself. Yes. This world taught me that changing means losing your friends. But now I know that doesn't have to be true. I have enough self to know that what I felt was foolish. <laughs> Isn't it wonderful? So if you do the spirit path, Cole will thank you for not making him change. Because when Reese found out um, that he wasn't what he thought he was, then he lost him. So, either way, no matter which path you choose, Cole has this revelation about himself and thanks you for it. It's another good step, Cole. I might like being human. What do you think I'll learn next? If he's a spirit, he hops around this this tavern area and like does things <laughs> tells people things to make him happy
There is no other man. He becomes the other man to do the things he can't. That is a reference to Fight Club. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. It's made from people. Um... Reference to the film Soylent Green. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Come on. I can talk with you. Nope. Okay. Just I'll two. I'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Okay. Cole is happy now. I wonder who knows pain has tried the game. It's one who lacks a certain wherewithal. For he knows well a pain with paltry gain. The fool who dares to rhyme Halam Shirah. It writes itself. At least it seems it should. The, her animations are not correct half the time. When she's when she's speaking poetry, she has the lute, and then when she's singing, she doesn't have it. <laughs> Hear what they did with the warden. That was no warden. Well, yes, that was the crime. No, it wasn't. The crime was far worse. You haven't seen the war reports. Okay. Nothing there. Um. Hmm. If you... I was trying to get the banter between Cole and Blackwall, and I haven't... I wasn't able to get it, and I don't know if it'll trigger now. But, um, Josephine and Blackwall have a thing for each other? And you gotta you gotta pick it up in party banter before um, you can talk to them about it. And I think I I probably it's probably too late now. But I will I can link that in the description if I can find a uh, a video on it. Morgan is meeting with us now. Okay, everybody's still... You've got hours. You've got an hour. And you're gonna take forever, okay. Are the soldiers ready? As ready as they can be. We're asking a lot of them. Okay, so we need to do Varric's thing. Which is here. And there. Go take Varric. Take. Oh, so this is um, Cole's card. Being more human. I think more spirit, the black and white are reversed. I'm not sure. Um. I think Blackwall's card changed as well. I don't know who to take. Let's take Sarah. No, yes, let's take Sarah. Well, I don't think we're going to get party banter, so I don't know that it matters. Finally, I started to think you weren't coming. Nobody said you had to hang out in the creepy cave while you waited. <laughs> well, I did wait, so let's make this quick. These idiots are carrying the Red Lyrium out in unprotected containers. We don't want to stick around long enough for her to start talking to us. We've been around way more Red Lyrium than that, and we're fine. Um, you know what it does? You seem to know more about the effects of Red Lyrium than most. Varric told me plenty about what it did to him. And his brother. Um, why should they be protected? Why would the containers need to be protected? Lyrium is incredibly dangerous in its raw form. It can poison or kill dwarves, and we're resistant to it. Sometimes it just explodes. No warning. Basically, only crazy people mine Lyrium. The mining cast doesn't just sling it into a bucket. It's carried in special containers that keep it under control. And that's normal lyrium. The red stuff is worse. I wouldn't be surprised if most of their miners die just digging it up. How did you find this place? 
How did you find this operation in the first place? There must be hundreds of Deep Roads entrances. I've used this entrance in the past. Varric's not the only surface dwarf to explore the Deep Roads. Oh, I've got to admit, I was pretty surprised when I came here and found it full of humans. Uh, you know how to fight? If you're coming with us, I hope you can handle a fight. No, I thought I'd cower helplessly while you do all the work. She's a decent shot. Fair. Decent? You want me to admit you're better than me in front of the Inquisitor? Let's not waste any more time, shall we? All right. So we were here before and cleared this place out. And now we gotta go clear it again. I'm the only mage. That's fine. Oh, I see the other one now. Let's get closer. That, that's fine. I'll take that. I don't think we need to go back that way. I guess they're inside. Waste of a fireball. But they're going down pretty easily. So it doesn't matter. No loot! I think they have already looted this place, so. So this is what you do now? Beg pardon? Skulking around in caves, shooting guys. Is this your day to day? I usually try to avoid the caves. Where is she? Yeah, there's no new loot. There she is. Move out of the door bowl. So that I can go this way. Oh, uh, hold on. I want that. People behind us? No. What is happening? <laughs> I don't know what direction people are shooting from. That. Are there people up there now? Where, where am I getting red dots from? Oh, probably inside. care of that, thank you. Worried, you know. What did I do now? That letter you sent me about the Red Lyrium was the first I'd heard from you since the Chantry explosion. Had it been that long? Seriously, if you died in that mess, I'd have come back to Kirkwall and dug you up just to kick your ass. What would you do if I'd been cremated? Kick your ashes, of course. That tunnel. 
I got it. Didn't we steal it the last time we were here? I swear we fixed this. It's not giving me the thing to fix it, so... Don't ask me where I'm going, I don't know. How is what's-his-name? Bogdan? He's in Navarra right now, selling my machine to wealthy landowners. I heard some of the guild were trying to get you named a paragon for that contraption. That's not gonna happen, even if I am ten times the Smith Bronca ever was. A surfacer paragon? Never. Alright, let's open this. I built these doors. They probably shut this one from the other side when they heard the ruckus we were making. Ta-da! You built doors here? You've been here often enough to renovate the cave. You already know I've used this entrance in the past. I don't know if Eric's told you, but the Merchant's Guild is cutthroat. Literally. I built the doors to keep rivals from following me down here and arranging accidents. <laughs> you were waiting to do that. Admit it. You've been waiting to do that since we arrived. <laughs> of course I was. After you. 